Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, we uh, learned about uh, FMID. So you can refer to that FMID video uh, from my channel. Uh, so we learned about two variants of the FMID that is uh, formats that infinite method of infinite descent. So let us uh, see an example of uh, both variants, how to apply them in problems or to solve different equations. So let us see the first example solve in non negative integers uh, the equation x cube plus 2y cube equals to 4z cube so this is the equation so you have to give uh, triplets x, y, z, each of them uh, from the non-negative integer thing to the solution. So let us try to solve it. So just by looking at the equation, I know that if I take all of them to be uh, 0, so it is allowed because we are taking from the non-negative integer. So this is the solution. Right. So now uh, either we have to, uh, so we have to either find some more solutions. Uh, to this equation or we have to show that there does not exist any other solution other than 0 0 right so let us assume that um, that this triplet x1 y1 z1 is a solution so maybe we can give this a equation number solution to a and it is uh, non-trivial so we can highlight that one so it is uh, means all the terms are non-zero that's why we're taking the non-trivial solution now the thing is uh, so if i want to take these two inside so we can rewrite uh, this equation as right the cube root of 2y whole cube and cube root of 4 times z whole cube right so now since cube root of 2 and cube root of 4 are both uh, irrational uh, we know that uh, uh, there, that it is not difficult to see that x1 y1 z1 all of them has to be positive right because we want non negative integer solutions we have x1 y1 z1 all positive get us strictly greater than zero now let us try to rearrange few things so x1 y1 z1 satisfies the equation that is fine okay so now if i take uh, y1 to the other side minus 2 y1 cube so it is uh, so from here we have that 2 divides x1 cube and hence 2 divides x1 right so let us so since uh, 2 divides x1 so x1 equals to 2x2 for some x2 right belongs to z plus that we can always write now let us replace that back into the equation then what we have 2x2 whole cube so if we open up so here we are replacing this so if we open up what we have is 8x2 cube plus 2y1 cube equals to 4z1 cubes so we can cancel out 2 from the equation and we have 4x2 cube plus y1 cube equals to 2z1 cube. So now we can isolate y1 cube on one side and take 
the 4x2 cube on the other side so again you can see that 2 divides y1 cube and this implies the 2 divides y1 so we can again write y1 equals to 2y2 for some y2 belongs to z plus so now i think you got the idea similarly you can uh, put again y2 back into the uh, equation uh, into this equation we can put uh, y1 equals to 2y2 and isolate and find that z1 is also divisible by 2 so similarly 2 divides z1 so z1 equals to some 2z2 belongs to z plus so like this uh, now we can also see uh, so observe that that x1 is strictly greater than x2 y1 is strictly greater than y2 of course because it is two times and it is positive z1 is greater than z2 and this triplet x2 y2 z2 is also a solution to our initial equation a so that you can see just if you can replace this uh, z1 or y2 equals to this thing and then finally z1 equals to 2z2 then you can check that actually our original equation is coming back so maybe i can highlight this equation it will be clear so one equation we got here and another equation we got here so this is fine i think this is all so then actually we have created a, a sequence of positive integral solutions right so x2 y2 then you can again start with x2 y2 z2 and conclude that we can again conclude that 2 divides x2 2 divides y2 and 2 divides z2 and so on thus continuing this process we have a sequence of positive integral solutions so that is xn yn and zn where n is greater than or equals to 1 and it is decreasing right so each of the terms are strictly dictated with decreasing terms but this is not possible right because you cannot infinitely decrease terms from a positive and remain positive all the way right so this is a contradiction to the first variant of fmid so this is a contradiction variant one so there cannot be any positive solution to the equation so hence this 0 0 0 so this is the only solution so this is the only solution so i hope this method is clear okay so now let us uh, see an example where we can use the second variant So the question is to find the maximum value of m square plus n square if m and n are integers so m and n belongs to z plus one between one and nineteen eighty one, and uh, they also satisfy the following relation. 
एन स्क्वायर माइनस एम एन माइनस एम स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू वन right so here actually you gonna again see just by observation that 1 comma 1 is the solution right so if i take m to be 1 comma 1 so this is the solution also we can see that if i equate that m and n are equal so then the equation becomes m square equals to 1 right because m and n are equal so from again we can only uh, see that m equals to n equals to 1 is a solution so if m and n are equal then always so we have that 1 1 is the only solution now let us see uh, if they are not equal then what happens so without loss of generality So we assume that m is strictly less than n, and this this pair satisfies the equation. Well, let us also give this name. Right. Now, since uh, m is uh, less than n. and n can go at most 2n right because if it crosses 2n then it cannot be equal to 1 so i think this you can easily check so this implies the upper bound for n is 2m because if n is greater than uh, 2m strictly greater than 2m so then uh, this inequality it is not possible and equal to 1 it is not possible now let us uh, do some calculations uh, from this equation mean b so let us uh, try to get any Form from inside this quantity. So this thing, if I try to complete the square minus, I need two m n, and I need a positive m square. So what else extra I'm doing is plus m n and minus two m square. So this is n minus m whole square. Then if I take m common. n minus m and minus m square you can keep like this okay so we can just take the negative side and outside and we have right so these are same so from here you can see that so this is nothing but Uh, this is our new n and this is our new m right so this implies n minus m comma m also satisfies the relation and we have that n minus m is less than equals to n right so now if we use the fmid variant to so this transformation so from mn so here we actually decreasing n minus m to m so this uh, will terminate after finitely many steps because we are all taking greater than equals to uh, m and n strictly greater than 0 
terminate so and it is uh, it terminate only when this m n equal to 1 because that is the thing when you have started So now if we uh, move back, uh, so if I uh, see the inverse of this transformation, so that is nothing but m comma n is going to n m plus n. So this is the inverse transformation. So actually we can see the path how it is coming to. 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 came from 2 comma 1 it came from 3 comma 2 it came from 5 comma 3 and so on so actually you can see uh, a pattern so each of the things are the Fibonacci numbers right 1 1 2 then 3 5 everything are Fibonacci number so the pairs are uh, two consecutive Fibonacci numbers. Now they have given a. Uh, uh, we have to find the largest maximum value of this thing, where m and n uh, lies between this. So you can check from the Fibonacci list that the nearest Fibonacci number that is uh, uh, nearest to 1981, and which is less than is the 16th Fibonacci number. So it is 1597. because if we take uh, more then uh, the next one it will cross 1981 so this we can choose n because we have to find the largest value and m we can choose as a 15 so that is that also you can find from the list the 15th Fibonacci number so the maximum value of m square plus n square is nothing but a15 square plus f16 square so this you can easily calculate so i hope uh, that both applications of the fmid uh, the formats method of infinite descent is clear so this you can go refer to the previous video again that includes where we described the two variants the method of uh, finite descent as well as a uh, infinite variant two methods two variants one and two and then you can again refer to these problems i think this will help you to uh, clear in mind how to apply these two things so yes so i'll stop here now so if you like the content please subscribe to my channel and more for more such updates.